Project C-1180, How Did Defence Australia and the Royal Australian Navy Envision Terrible Era for a Class Offshore Patrol Vessel? The Australian Department of Defence has accepted the first Era for a Class Offshore Patrol Vessel out of six, Era for a Class, more than three years after its launch. Arafura is the first of this class vessel delivered under Project C-1180, built by Lurson Australia. Thank you, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. Global Defence Corp reported multiple times about Arafura class patrol vessels and still doesn't understand how taxpayers' money was poured into them. How did Defence Australia and the Royal Australian Navy get this vessel wrong when they envisioned the C-1180 project? What is the benefit of spending money on this patrol vessel when better options are available for the Royal Australian Navy? Didn't Defence Australia know Fincantieri, Navantia, and NVL developed next-generation offshore patrol vessels? Please comment below if you're an Australian veteran or have worked at Defence Australia. The C-1180 project will deliver six era for a class offshore patrol vessels armed with a 25mm cannon to the Navy. The era for a class vessels will be part of a wider Navy minor war vessel fleet supporting civil maritime security and enhanced regional engagement in the Southwest Pacific and Maritime Southeast Asia. Delays in the program have disappointed the Royal Australian Navy and Defence Australia, which have been forced to assign frigates once again to border patrol work. The Australian National Audit Office Assessment of Era for a Class. What caused the program, which appeared simple, to experience such delays and issues is the subject of intense debate in Australia. While the exact causes of the problems may never be known, the Australian National Audit Office has derived lessons learned from the process that bodes poorly for Australia's C-3000 project. An adequate timeframe to conduct procurement can diminish the opportunity for due diligence during tender evaluations. Providing sufficient time for due diligence is crucial to ensure the integrity and effectiveness of the procurement process, the Australian National Audit Office concluded in its annual report on defence procurement. The use of reference ship designs from other navies provided reassurance in the procurement process but it remains crucial to thoroughly understand the intended capabilities and requirements, and ensure alignment with project objectives, the Australian National Audit Office further stated. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Visit globaldefensecorp.com. Follow us on X, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram.